um, to Richmond International Raceway for the last race before the chase. Drivers will need good runs. Kidding. Uh, we're gonna go for 20 laps around this short track. Joey Logano starts on the pole today. Eight points below the cut line. He might end up having to win. So, he needs a good run. He's in position for that. This is Danny Hamilton's home track. And he starts third. 20 points to the good. Yeah, but he does not have any playoff points. So, he could, he's in a position. Darryl Wallace, Darryl Wallace Jr. is filling in for Ricky Stiles Jr. He starts fourth. And now let's look at our chase grid coming in. You see right now, Carl Edwards, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, they, those drivers, they are close. But Harvick, Dylan, Newman, McMurray, Amarola, and Blaney, they're all going to have to win if they want to make the chase. So, those other guys are, who are here locked in, and Matt Kenda too probably, they're going to go for some playoff points because they're... They're going to be very Drivers, important to Chase. Start your engine! As the cars call off, let's look at our starting lineup. In the, on the pool, we have the 22 of Joy Logano and Brad Keselowski, our Duria winner. In row number two, we'll have the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. And Daryl Wallace Jr., who is filling in for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. In row three, we have Kevin Harvick and Jimmy McMurray. Both of those drivers need to win. And in row four, we'll have the 31 car of Ryan Newman and Kurt Busch in the 41 our Indianapolis winner. And in row number five, we'll have Eric Almarola, who needs to win, and Martin Truex Jr., our points leader, has won two races this year. And then in row number six, we'll have the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson, our Chevy winner, and Carl Edwards, who needs a pretty good run today. And then in row seven, we'll have two-time winner of the season, Kyle Larson, last week's winner, actually, and Texas winner, Kyle Busch. And in row eight, we'll have the three car of Austin Dillon and Casey Keene, another two-time winner of the season thus far. And then in row number nine, we'll have the 20 car of Matt Kenseth and the 24 of Chase Elliott, who needs a good run. And then riding out the field today, we'll have the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr., our Charlotte winner, and Ryan Blaney, who also needs to win. And here's a racing full of points of on laps 5 and 10 of 20. Pit winners 12 and 14 laps. Joel Legans on the pole. And this is the last race before our chase. The great flag is out. Joey Logano leads him down. He's got a great restart. So Brad Keselowski is lost. He's right behind him. And in third. And oh no, we have a crash already here on that number two. And the caution comes out for five cars on the front straightaway. So look at who they are. Kyle Larson, he has those two wins, so he's locked, but he's not getting any additional playoff points. Matt Kenseth, 26, came in 26 points to the good, so he won't, he won't have to worry. But once again, won't get it. Eric Gomorola's season is done. Kurt Busch, oh, five. He only has five playoff points, and that could hurt him. And Martin Church, you are points later. So, but he just take a look at the replay. It looks like Omarola had to check up, and Truex kind of nudged Omarola, and then Kenseth spun Larson, and wow, well, it was just a bunch of people had nowhere to go. And now let's look at our cheese grid as they run. You see, Matt Kenseth, even though wrecking, he's still 12 points uh, good. So, Chase Elliott right now below the cut line because Joey Logano is the leader. Of the race right now. And the race off of Pit Road is won by Daryl Wallace Jr., who took two tires. Jimmy McMurray also took two tires. So we'll see how that pit strategy worked out for them. But Kyle Bush, Austin Dillon, and Ryan Blaney all stayed out. So we'll see how that pit strategy works out for Gold Drivers. Remember, Dillon and Blaney need to win. And Kyle Bush wants some more playoff points. Daryl Wallace Jr. and Jimmy McMurray, as I mentioned earlier, took two tires. So we'll see how that pit strategy works out for them. And Joey Logano was too fast exiting. We'll see if he can recover from that. Ryan Newman was too fast entering. The green flag is back on me. We have a wreck. Take a look at what happened here. 
Caution Zhao for three cars. And I don't remember he was 20 points to the good, so he probably won't have to worry. Jamie McMurray season is done. And then Brad Keselowski won that dirty, uh, so he won't be, won't be able to lose. He has one playoff point. And let's look at our chase grid as they run. Uh, I was got Kyle Busch's leader, and I believe and he won the stage, so he's right there. You see, Hamlin still 15 points so good. Kenseth 17, but now Logano's 10 points below. Go. I take a look at the replay. So he had to try to go in the middle, and McMurray was in there, and McMurray just made contact, and um, Kozlowski just said, don't all. And here's so our stage one points. Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, and Ryan Blaney. That pitch strategy really worked out well for them as they all got some points. And Kyle Busch never got that one playoff point, so that could help him. And the green flag is back out as Kyle Busch leads him down. Austin Dillon is in second as here comes Kevin Harvick and Daryl Wallace Jr. Harvick trying to run the middle. Here comes Harvick for the lead. Now here's Johnson. Johnson to the lead now. Harvick trying to work around him, and now Daryl Wallace Jr. beats Harvick out for second in the stage. As you look at it, Johnson got that one playoff point. That could help him. As you can see, Chase Kidd as they run, and Ryan Blaney is short pitting their four fresh tires. We'll see how this works out for them. Him. Austin Neal, and also do yeah. Well, he just said he was just a little bit loose, so they're going to tighten him up. Also, going to give him four fresh tires. And some people. Right now, Carl Edwards has taken the lead away. See Blaney and Dylan going faster with those fresher tires. They're running the high line, and now uh, Gano ran the low line and did well. Dylan R. Jr. stayed out in that round of pit stops. Harvick took two tires on the green. Is there Carl Edwards in third? Now Edwards trying to get through around Harvick, and Harvick rocks him! The caution is out. Carl Edwards will see where this puts him in the point situation. And Kevin Harvick, show out that championship is over. Ryan Newman will get the free pass to get back on the lead lap. Take a look at the replay. It looks like Edwards gave him the bump and run, but Harvick said, No, I don't want you to pass me. And he. Him. Just took him out. He's on lap left. The bottom four pitted and the top four stayed out. So, let's see how I'll take it. Let's recap our, some of these drivers. Yeah, but first, we're going to take a look at the chase grid as they run. As right now, Edwards five points to the good, Logano five points below the cut line. So, Good pitch strategy has put Dylan Hart Jr. in the lead. Ryan Murray's old, older tires. Ryan Blaney, he needs to win. And he right now is in second. He's in the second position. Austin Hill is in the same position as Ryan Blaney, and he is fourth. Chase Elliott is the first car with the freshest tires, and he is fifth. Joey Legano needs to win. He is sixth. Ryan was the last car only lap, and he must win. So he's gonna have to be extremely uh, aggressive if he wants to win. It's a car under a situation of a driver who needs to win wins. He is not in the chase. If not, then he is in the chase. So it's kind of an interesting situation for him. The green flag is back out. Ryan Blaney gets a great restart. But here comes Chase Elliott and Kyle Busch. They're three wide for the lead. And there's a big wreck. We'll see who was the leader when the caution came out for these four cars. He had definitely passed the overtime line. We'll see who was involved. Joey Logano. Dallin Archiner. Kyle Bush and 
the 24 car of Chase Elliott. Take a look at the replay. Looks like Blaney just wrecked Elliott. And Elliott and Elliott is a big wreck. <laughs> Not a bunch of people like this. Nowhere to go. How was the leader in the caution game out? So he gets his second one of the season and five very important playoff points. So, uh, good for him. He might be able to do donuts or a burnout. But now let's take a look at our race results. Special congratulations to Napa Cup Series on, on, the, vi on the victory. As you can see, where all everyone finished, and yeah, there are all, there are only ten cars who finished, counting the drivers who wrecked at the end. Well, so six cars who were not involved in the well, four actually, because so here are your chasers. What the chase person wants to Kyle Busch. He is the number one seed. He has 14 playoff points. And the number two seed, we have a tie between Martin Jr. and Kyle Larson, who both have 12. Number four seed is Casey Kane. And that's Jimmy Johnson. He is the number five with he has 11 playoff points. He has seven playoff points. And then number six seed, we have another tie: Brad Keselowski and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Six playoff points. Number eight seed, Kurt Busch, five playoff points. And number nine seed, Jack Kenseth, four playoff points. Number, number 10 seed, we have an archive, Carl Edwards and Chase Elliott with, um, I think here, one playoff point. And then, number 12 seed, we have Benny Hamlin with no playoff points. But, we already chased it. Yes, now, in case you want to know where everyone else finished and how close it was, I shall now show you the chase grid. So here's how the chase grid turned out. You see Carl Edwards gotten by just two points. The next race will be at Dover. That's the first chase race.